All right, so starting off from the blog post, we're going to take a look at this Stripe Cash class. And this class's responsibility is to grab data about the customer from Stripe and then cache it for 15 minutes at a time. So you can see in this case, we're grabbing the customer's data, we're grabbing the customer's invoices, and then the upcoming invoice uh, for the next cycle. And this refresh method is the one that's most important. So what we want to do is be able to call refresh uh, in the app so that we can purge the existing cache if there is any, and if there's not, it will do nothing. And then uh, we want to cache all these things here. So you can see the cache method just calls each of these, which will go through and uh, request the data from Stripe and then uh, cache it into the Rails cache. So what we also want to do is integrate Sucker Punch here. And, and we want to do this because when a user logs in, say, we can reach out to Stripe and get that data so that once they hit the accounts page where this data is requested, it's nice and snappy like the rest of the application. So let's first take a look at see how this class works. So we're going to grab a user, and we're going to grab the Stripe Cache class, and we're going to pass in the user. And we're going to call the first method there, Refresh. So there was nothing in this method, uh, in this cache before. So if we called uh, customer, for example, on this particular customer, it's been cached. And so you can see it's nice and snappy when it comes back. Same for invoices and upcoming invoice. And so if we wanted to, we know we changed the card or some billing information and we wanted to refresh this, we could call refresh again and it'll go back out to Stripe, get all the information and cache it again so that it's nice and fast. Call customer and it comes back right away. So that's great. The class works as expected. So what we want to do is uh, add Sucker Punch to the application, and then uh, we can set this up to run when the user logs in. So we're going to add a gem here, Sucker Punch. We're going to ins install it. It's installed there. You can see version 1.32. So then we're going to go in the apps folder and we're going to make a jobs directory. Inside that jobs directory, we're going to make a Stripe cache job. So we'll say call it Stripe cache job in here. And we're going to include the sucker punch job module. We're going to create a perform method. And we're going to pass in a user ID. Look up the user. And then we're going to call that same, oops, stripe cache new with the user and then refresh. So if we go over to this job, we could run it using the Stripe cache job. We're going to say new uh, dot async dot perform with user dot last. And you can see that this job actually came back right away. We just see pass nil back and it, and it looked up the user because it then had to go out and get information about the user. So if we get to another console here and we call the Stripe cache with the user, user.last, call customer on it, that information is going to be readily available. So we would take this particular call to the Stripe cache job. That call comes right back. If we were to, uh, if we were to call this in line without async, um, it would actually run it in line. So you can see if, if we run this, this is going to take a little bit. It's going to wait for the data to come back from Stripe, and you can see it cached it. But now if we run it with async, which means run it in the background in a new thread, it comes back right away, um, and it's already already done its work. So we can use this invocation here to async Stripe cache check, and we can do it in, say, a login controller when the user logs in, um, and then perhaps we want to... Uh, we want to refresh the data when a credit card is updated, or maybe billing information about that customer is updated, maybe their plan, something like that. So then we can uh, refresh the data in the background without them, without them knowing or waiting what's going on, and it'll be nice and snappy. So that's all for this time, and I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, learning about Sucker Punch.